The 2015 World Tour season kicks off this week with the Tour Down Under. The 17th edition of the race will have a different feel with defending champion and three-time winner Simon Gerrans missing the race due to a broken collarbone, while Andre Greipel has opted for a different race programme. Both riders are regular winners in Adelaide, but in their absence is an opportunity for riders to move to the fore. Cycling News has looked at the contenders and here are our five riders to watch at the Tour Down Under. The Tour Down Under will be the final World Tour race of Cade Levens' career. Australia's only Tour de France winner isn't looking for an easy farewell ride and will line up as one of the favourites for the GC. Evans' attack on the corkscrew climb last year saw him ride into the leader's jersey before eventually losing it to Simon Gerrans by a single second. With the Oracle Green Edge rider missing the race this year, Evans could finish his career on a high and take home the Oka jersey for the first time. Richie Port is one of three Team Sky riders that have a genuine shot at overall success at the Tour Down Under. Port showed his strong form recently with a victory over Rohan Dennis in the Australian National Time Trial. The Tasmanian is looking to prove his capabilities as a general classification leader and a win here would kick his year off in style. Also in contention in the general classification are Geraint Thomas and Pete Kenyuk. With no Andre Greipel at this year's race, there should be little preventing Marcel Kittel from dominating the sprint competition. The giant Alperson rider didn't contest a single sprint last year, but he'd be determined to win this time around. He's brought some of his best lead-out men and should be more than a match for his rivals Mark Renshaw and Sam Bennett. Kittel will have to share the team support with his Dutch teammate Tom Dumoulin, who could pose a threat in the general classification. Thiago Machado makes his Katusha debut at the Tour Down Under after switching from NetApp Endura at the end of last year. His return to the World Tour comes after a strong 2014 that saw him take top 10s at the Tour of California and the Giro del Trentino. His punchy characteristics make him a dangerous rider on most days and he could cause an upset. Machado's best finish at the Tour Down Under was third in 2012 and another podium finish would be the perfect way to start his tenure at Katusha. With a collarbone injury ruling out Simon Gerrans, Arca Greenedge will go into the race without an outright leader. Simon Clark is one of a number of contenders that will be riding for the Australian team down under. Clark is a former winner of the Vuelta Espanias Mountain classification and showed some promising form with 10th in the Australian National Road Race. Clark is an aggressive rider and could throw the cat among the pigeons with an attack. Former down under winner Cameron Meyer is another option for the team 